Aloha from Waikiki, Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, beginning of the um, Martin Luther King Day Parade, annual parade. And here coming up is the Kanawai Mamalahoi banner, January 17th, 1893, the day of the overthrow, the armed invasion of Hawaii by American businessmen being protested. And that was in front of the official uh, color guard. Yeah, the yellow one is jumping out. Yeah. Because it's uh, opposite of blue. Remember what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, it's uh, taped off, there's uh, I have a backhoe here, trucks. Hey, who can tell us what's going on? What's going on? Uh, I guess they're just going to take her stuff. Wesley Chung's there telling everybody that the stuff was tagged. This stuff is not tagged. This stuff was not it tagged. It hasn't been tagged. We're gonna tag it. Oh, that's why you so got you're gonna tag it. Up and you're tag it. And leave it. Why? Push me around. This is this is a head. new thing here. What? Yeah. Their back hose. There's a crane here, as you can see. Yeah. You can see that uh, the police are heavily armed. Now, Sergeant Santos and Vito hey, call hey, this a raid. Hey, 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 it's not tagged. You can't get any of that stuff. That's, that it, not that's search and seizure. That's the law. You are breaking the law. Stop them. Stop them. Police. Just Police. Stop those people. Stop those people. They're breaking the law. They're breaking the law. I have stopped all of you. Taking untagged property, uh, opening an art supply. You can see a backhoe involved. been put up recently, untagged property, um, paints and art supplies for uh, tomorrow's uh, May Day art. <laughs> and this Holding is, a paddle. Okay, we should that's a group a shot of that banner uh, that was taken. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. We are at uh, Kapiolani Park, Lay Day Festival, organized by the city, uh, lay makers out of uh, Hawaiian uh, cultural events. The, um, my poor family is right over there making lays, but right now I have to take a break from lay making because 
the city has been abusing Kanawai Mamalahoi, which is a much more important root of our culture. Yesterday, the city and county stole a, uh, this item and oh by the way can I file a police report? I haven't filed one yet. Yeah yeah, yeah okay okay. Okay so there was a raid on the deoccupied Honolulu encampment and um and this this work of art right here um along with one that said Guamau Keo Okaina Ikapono is um was stolen. We've had first hand accounts that it's sitting right now in Wesley Chan's office, the head of the Department of Facilities and Maintenance we're just trying to raise awareness, especially for city people, and, and especially for the police. You know, not just, we're not blaming anybody. You know, who wasn't, who hasn't been involved in this, but we do want to make sure that people understand what's going on, and that you know, we're not going to. People can't stand for it anymore. You know, we as Hawaiians need to stand together with these folks who are here from, um, you know, the Occupy Honolulu and. You know, standing against the wrongs that are happening all over the world. You know, we all need to stand up and say, you know, you can't. Well, we're not going to hurt anybody. Don't worry. We're, we're like, peaceful I know, people. I like you guys. Hey, you like to take pictures? Okay, protect real culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the middle of your back. You got the. You got the. Yeah, right there, the camera. Okay, we're kidding you, buddy. Okay, you smile. Everybody smile. Okay, all right, can I get in? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Who and Lola Vadilla that come up on stage? Well, let's see the mayor. We want to ask him. Uh, the two Kuhu represent the Hawaii Sports. I'm not harming the mayor. I'm giving you my word as a Hawaiian that I am not harming. A nice round. I don't think it's right. It's not fun. All I was trying to do was. Why are you doing this? She wasn't doing anything but sitting down. She was holding You got to cooperate and give me your hand or not? So why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? There's no aloha for Hawaiians on Mayday, yeah? Are you trying to break her arm? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, she can't. Yeah, 
the kind of thing that um, that people have to go through if they want to pick up their items from the city and county after they have been impounded under the ordinance uh, is 11-029. You know, and uh, when I spoke with Dr. Wesley Chan and asked him, well, you know, do you think this is really reasonable for houseless people to do this kind, of, this level of um, hassle, you know, to call for that many days, many of them don't even have cell phones, um, then make an appointment and be on time for the appointment given that there's no bus that goes to the area and that the bus doesn't allow more than what you can fit under your seat on the bus? Is this really reasonable? And he said, well, the houseless people must not want their stuff back. And he says they don't want their stuff back because they haven't been calling to set up the appointment. Now, I think the logical flaw in that is fairly obvious. It's fairly obvious. Why on earth would you, if you were a houseless person, even if you had a cell phone, for which you're probably paying by the minute, why would you go through this level of hassle just to come this far? Um, that entire distance that we cover just now, especially the stretch from the last intersection, is the distance that a houseless person would have to walk in order to recover their home, um, which they, again, would not be able to take on the bus, and so therefore it is basically impossible for them to, in practical terms, recover their belongings at all. Although, you know, people I just don't want like, my identity yeah, no, 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 to be stolen, you know what I mean? It stays, it stays with me, and it only gets sent over to Park Town too. Yeah, uh -huh. it's determined that you are not the right to own yeah. I see, I see. So, okay, so okay, well, that, you know, if you're giving you know, me your word, I'll yeah. take your word yeah. for it. That's my uh, ID. Yeah. Now, there's three, should be three pieces in all. Uh, yeah, there should be three. Yeah, should I, I told them oh, wait, 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 before yeah. I go give okay. you my okay. ID and everything, I'd like to see the banners, I'd like to make sure it's the right one. There it is, right there. There's only there. one here. Yeah, but this is the other one. Oh, okay. there's the other one. Okay, so, here, can you hold, can you hold one side for me? I don't like hold them, you tell me all the time. Okay, put put it down. We can put it down. I'm gonna get it. Really? Come on, come on, come on. Who am I? Yeah, yeah. This will look good. This is actually really good. You're supposed to support this kind of stuff. It's upside down. It's upside down. Oh, okay. That is the banner by Michael Daly. I'm gonna get up close too so that we can see. Who do this? Michael Daly, nice. and I want to I wanna show that, which was uh, first uttered where? At Thomas Square. And where was this stolen? Oli, King Kamehameha III. This, that's where this was taken from. So this was taken from the very place where this was, um, where this was uttered. It had not been there for 24 hours. Right. It was uh, illegally seized. The only thing that was in that camp? No, there was another there was one. There's a real huge one. And this one is the one by Raul Gonzalez. I should say kind of by Mama Lahoy. Hey, we should let these guys see too, because this is this is impressive. No, it's for you. <laughs> it's, it's for you. I disagree with being forced to go through this unreasonable and burdensome process, impossible for most houseless persons to reclaim items that were stolen from safekeeping when they had not been there for 24 hours. The paint was not even dry yeah. on these items. And there are only two of the three.
okay, and banners. Can you, you can you please uh, take a take a quick picture? I'm going to uh, real quick show this one more time. I didn't get a chance to get a photograph, so okay, I'll. Okay, let's see. Let me try and get. Like uh, so this this kind of shows what they really feel about kind of Malahoy. They want to tag it and put it in a garbage can, which is what they do with stored property. Um, this. I, I won't unload it right now, but you can kind of see it. Um, this was never tagged. So I think there's an important difference. This was tagged. This was not tagged. Um, this was taken. This was not taken because I held it in my hands. And although they have taken things from people, from their hands in the past, they even walked onto private property to take things from people right out of their hands. Um, so even though they've done that, yeah, there's the, there's a banner painted by Raul Gonzalez, um, an indigenous artist who uh, is from uh, California, and he's, a, he's an awesome mural artist. And so he painted this with Aloha. He hadn't even. He barely finished. The paint was not even dry when it was taken. So the law says, the law that they use to tag this object says that Kanabai Mamalahoy, I'm sorry, <laughs> well, it says Kanabai Mamalahoy doesn't matter. And basically, <laughs> by doing this, obviously, but um, it says <laughs> under Ordinance 11-029, um, it says that property that's tagged then has 24 hours to be removed. Well, right. um, this was never tagged and it was removed. Less than 24 hours after it was made. Right. I have a receipt for the materials that wasn't even 24 hours old. Didn't they go straight to that tent too? They did. Yeah, yeah and, they, and, the, and, and I should mention that that's all they took. It right. was, was this and, um, and some art supplies. And, and another um, two artwork, two, two other paintings by um, an artist named Michael Daly, who... Miss Tio, I don't mind you doing it, but please be advised, I don't understand Hawaii. Okay, okay. I'm actually reading from the Hawaii State Constitution. Okay, well, I still don't understand Okay, Hawaii. I, I will, I will. E nakanaka, e malama o ko ikiakua, a e malama ho'i, ke kanaka nui, a me kanaka iki. People. Malama care for that which is divine. Take care of the people great and the people small. Let the old people, the old men, the old women, with the children, let them be free to lay in the road in any path without fear of being troubled. Have no make. Anyone who breaks this law shall fall. This is the first and still the most important law in Hawaii. It was spoken by Kamehameha I in 1797. It is in Article 9, Section 10 of the Constitution 
of the state of Hawaii. It is in the center of the badge of the Honolulu Police Department. It is the foundation of the relationship between government and people. It declares that people have a right not to be harmed by those with power. According to the sacred law, Kanawai Mamalahoy, any governmental power that breaks this fundamental law that does not respect the basic human and civil rights of the people will perish. Right. I stand right. today and always for Kanawai Mamalahoy. Mm -hmm. I am not a criminal. I am a witness. I am a witness to great suffering, abuse, and disregard for human rights. I am a witness to the breaking of Kanawai Mamalahoy by the state of Hawaii. Beyond a reasonable doubt. I find you guilty as charged of the crime charged, disorderly conduct, pursuant to HRS 711-1101. Aloha from Waikiki, Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, beginning of the um, Martin Luther King Day Parade, annual parade. Actually, I like calling it a march. It's called a parade. I don't like the whole parade idea. The float kind of. The you know, there are beauty queens and stuff on it. It's become kind of a tourist thing, but we do it every year uh, to remember um, Martin Luther King. Um, and I'm going to walk around here. The march hasn't started, so I'm going to walk around and take a look. Hi, what's your name? Tori. Tori, why, why are you here? I'm here to support peaceful protest. Peaceful protest. That's uh, actually becoming more and more um, prohibited uh, in Honolulu anyway. Yeah, it's a shame. This is a color guard that begins the... Uh, I don't know. I want to get behind here. That uh, officially begins the march, but uh, there's always a bit of controversy because we are in Hawaii. That um, many feel is uh, under an illegal military occupation uh, and is still an independent nation. So there's a number of people here, Kanaka Maoli, Native Hawaiians, who will also march in front. Leading off in front of the color guard, Hawaiian group with the uh, Hawaiian flag upside down. Hawaiian distress. Here 
coming up is the Kanavai Mamalahoy banner. January 17th, 1893, the day of the overthrow, the armed invasion of Hawaii by American businessmen being protested. And that was in front of the official uh, color guard, the American flag, which is actually no longer royal since there is no royalty. There was a great uh, song written about the overthrow for the Royal Hawaiian Band called Kaulana Napua. Go look that up. Okay, they're taking this, this route here. Royal Hawaiian Band. I think Honolulu is the, Hawaii is the only state that has a band like this. Royal Hawaiian band passing. And you can see that they'll make a That a ways through Waikiki. That concrete jungle is indeed Waikiki. And we'll be walking along with one of the uh, groups. As soon as they pass, we're going to walk through the group and see, uh, catch up to the front. Well, we're going to try, and then we'll walk through Waikiki, and you guys will get a good uh, glimpse of Waikiki. We might lose some resolution and connectivity as we walk through the concrete jungle. I'll try and show you the ocean when we get a shot of it, but here we go. Well, we made the march, guys. What do you think? If you've been following my streams, this is also the venue where uh, Laulani Teal was arrested for trying to approach the mayor for the return of the Kanavai Mamalahoi banner, which you saw leading this parade today. the official terminating area. <laughs> Good here. <laughs> Good. Here's the Kanavai Mamalahoi banner. I was just telling the people. It wasn't returned then, but it was returned uh, about 10 days afterward, after persistent this banner made by uh, Raul Gonzalez, California artist who painted it in solidarity with indigenous people and their struggle. Anything you want to tell our viewers? Um, everyone, if you don't know what it is already, Kanavai Mamalahoi, love, love the symmetric paddle, by King Kamehameha, it's in the state constitution, everyone, everyone, um, uh, it's in the state constitution, it's in the little green bat part of the badges of every policeman in the city and county of Hawaii. Well, I don't know about the other islands. I think it's just Honolulu. It's just Honolulu County. Anyway, and it's every, basically everyone's supposed to be able to be safe. The law of the splintered paddle protects the humble from the powerful. The first law of the first king of Hawaii, declared uh, by King Kamehameha in 1797, I believe. This banner painted by Raul Gonzalez. Thank you very much, Raul.